you go. And next folks, we have the eldest female body of those golfing. Her name is Haley. Next, since we have the eldest, we also have the youngest female body of those golfing. Her name is Nala. There you go. And now folks, on the other side, last but not least, the sweet and playful V. are very friendly and now they would like to welcome you with a nice way below. Go on everyone, say hi to them. Hi! Hi, Elvis! Hi! 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 Alright, now ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> whales, bluegulls, and dolphins are not fish, are they? Uh -huh. Yes, you're right, they are mammals just like you and me. But how can we tell? First, fish move their tails from side to side, like this. Okay, look at that, folks. That looks hilarious, right? But for dolphins, their tail flukes that powers them through the water. It actually moves up and down and not side to side like a fish. Alright guys, show them how you do it. There you go, up and down. Good job. Now we all know that our marine mammal friends breathe air, but how do they do it? Well, they use the blow hole on top of their heads. Now folks, listen. Now that blow hole has a lid that opens and closes so no water can get inside. And did you know that these sentinels are also great in diving? Because they can dive as deep as 1,000 feet and they can even hold your breath for about 8 to 10 minutes. Well, you know what, folks? Try that sometimes. That's pretty hard, right? And did you know that they also use the blowhole to talk using a variety of clicks, squeaks, squawks, and whistles? No, folks, listen again. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, now let's talk about their fins. Everyone, have you noticed that fin on their back? Well, that one is called the dorsal fin, and it's used to stabilize them in the water. It also works like a keel of a boat, which converts the sideways motion of the wind. But how about those fins on either side of their body? There you go. Well, those are what we call the coral fins, and it's used to steer themselves through the water. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, why don't we have these sentinels to put their fins into action with some of their natural behaviors? So, first off, what do dolphins do when they want to steer a roof over long distance? Wow! You can see folks, they can actually jump up in the air. Wow! wow. Just like that! Good job! And because of that, folks, here's an interesting teaser for you. Well, Michael Jordan holds the highest vertical jump in NBA history. At 48 inches or 4 feet, his jump puts him 6 inches above the rim, and that is 10 feet and 6 inches. But folks, for dolphins, they can jump as high as 18 feet. Alright, then Enzo will show you how high they can jump. Come on, Enzo, show them. They're itchy skin. And that's why they do the breach. Now, someone also breached to catch fish or just to communicate with other dolphins. And now, what do you think dolphins do when they want to show up? Alright, folks? Ah! Acrobatic aerial. Well, someone also do that behavior just to have fun. Amazing, right? So, as you've seen, Dolphins are streamlined and built for speed. And because of that, here's another trick for you. Michael Phelps is an Olympic swimmer. And on his best of days, he can reach the speed of 9.6 kilometers per hour. But folks for dolphins, well, they can reach the speed of up to 40 kilometers per hour. All right, guys, whenever you are ready and hit it. Fantastic, right? But folks, here's more. 
kept waiting for the most amazing feature of all. If Michael Jackson can moonwalk while our dolphins, they can walk on water. All right, guys, show them. So folks, as you've noticed, here at Ocean Adventure, we really love our animals. And we always give them the best possible care we can. As a matter of fact, we are a founding member of the Philippine Marine Mammal Stranding Network and we have trained over 4,000 volunteers and have to be the first responders to the rescues of whales, dugongs, and dolphins. Well, folks, we have rehabilitated many animals in our rescue center, including animals that have been injured from dynamite fishing. Okay, folks? And that is a good news for all of us, right? And of course, to our mammal friends. So, oh, you did. Thank you so much for oh, you did. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Peter Bar, and we invited the lucky guys to come here. Oh, you did. All right, so tell us for what you're doing. Eunice. Eunice, all right, Eunice. Who's we using more than some of Eunice? Over there, so you have to move. Hi, welcome to the adventure. Okay, Eunice, are you excited to meet one of our other people? Bye bye. I want you to move forward here. Okay, I want you to meet Minala. I want you to move forward. Near the middle of this. Oh, look at that. Close your eyes. 
Because Nada has a surprise for you. You can have her, you can have her, you can have her, you can have her. There you go! And you know, of course, we offer several opportunities to meet one of our bodyless dolphins at close and personal. If you are interested, or you have to just ask one of our friendly partners. You can have her. Okay, Eunice, let's go here. Okay, I have one last question for you. Okay, Eunice, do your hands smell fishy? Well, yes, of course, but you don't have to worry because I'm going to teach you a technique that we trainers around the world how to clean our hands. Okay, you need I want you to shake your arms like this. Can you shake it? Faster, come on, faster! And rub it on your shirt! I am. I just couldn't use it. Of course, have a big round of applause for our kindness! Okay, you need it? You can go back. Thank you, my friend. Happy you, guys. Thank you so much, Mayor Bao, and of course, folks, our lucky guests. So, folks, here at Ocean Adventure, we use positive reinforcement to train our animals, which means they get something they like for doing all the great behaviors you see today. And, folks, did you know that their favorite reward is fish? And they only get the top one to fish every day. So, trainers, what do we have there? Okay, wait, small fish, huh? All right, guys, let's try giving it to them. And let's see. No, they don't like small fish. Okay, why don't we try a big or a handful fish? Well, that might work, huh? And, come on, guys. Wow, there you go. Now, folks, that is a splendid example of dolphins training our trainers. Good job, guys. But you know what? Training is actually based on trust. And the truth is, we have developed a special bond with our dolphin friends. And right now, we would like to show you what that means. 